Okay, more on where you should keep your estate plan documents. And the reason why this is important is because literally have seen the family who tore apart the five acres in the desert looking for grandpappy's will, which was in a pickle jar under an old barn. And, you know, seeing your, your clients, loved ones come in exhausted, covered in mosquito or ant bites, and just simply, you know, uh, thankful that they found it, but frustrated with the process. So make sure it's, if you've got a power of attorney and a medical power of attorney, make sure the people who are designated as your, as your fiduciaries have copies of those documents, have original ink signatures of those documents. Sometimes it's a good idea to leave a copy with your attorney. That's something that is beneficial because if the originals are lost and there's a second set of signed documents that are notarized, that's something that a medical provider, a court, they can do something with that. If the originals are lost or cannot, worse, cannot be found, which is more often the case, they're not lost, they're just, you know, grandpappy put it somewhere safe, but only he knew where that safe place was. That makes it almost impossible for your loved ones to have that roadmap which you've left behind for them. So put them in some place conspicuous. You know, things that are a great place to keep a lot of things is a safety deposit box. And people put estate plan documents in safety deposit boxes because, you know, the banks are secure, right? I mean, most banks that have safety deposit boxes are built to withstand nuclear bombs. You know, they, have, they are secure buildings. The downside of that is upon the passing of the owner of that bank account and safety deposit box, those accounts and boxes are sealed and your loved ones cannot get in there even if they have the key. So what you need to do, maybe you do have a copy in the safety deposit box, but leave a copy someplace conspicuous where a loved one can find it. I like to keep those documents in what I call a doomsday notebook. And that's just simply a conspicuous colored notebook that is easy to find, that you pick it up and page one, table of contents, power of attorney. Page, next, next tab, medical power of attorney. Next tab, estate plan. Next tab, do not resuscitate form. Whatever those, declaration of trust, next tab. Whatever those estate plan documents are, make sure they're conspicuous and easy to find so that way, if your loved one needs them, they are at hand. And putting them someplace safe, maybe someplace safe you know in the family Bible, but it might be the absolute last place that somebody looks. So keep those estate plans, keep multiple copies, and, but keep a copy handy and conspicuous so that way somebody can get at those documents if they gotta have them.